Once again, welcome to Photoshop Lab. Let's start this by dragging our subject layer. Control plus T to resize it. Input text. I input the first three letters of the jersey written on his jersey. Place it under the subject layer. Use rectangle shape tool. Press U for the shortcut key. Select its color. You can always change it later. Hit OK if you're happy. Draw the rectangular shape. Place it under the text and the subject layer. Control plus T, then rotate it. Make it longer. Adjust it till you're happy. Let's duplicate it by holding Alt key, then dragging it. Change the color of the second rectangular shape. Hit OK. Select both layers, group it or group them. Control plus G. Drag the other photo or other image. Resize it. Control plus T. Create a clipping mask for the second image. Clip it over the group or the rectangular shapes. Set the blend mode into soft light. Again, as I said a while ago, you can always change the color of the rectangular shape. Select it again. Press U to open the rectangular shape option. Change its color. Yep. Adjust it till you're happy. Hit OK. Then add a gray solid color. We will now be adding the smart filter effect or the filters. Select gray, convert it into smart object. Place it on the very top of the layers. Go to filter gallery, add half tone pattern and grain. Adjust it till it meets your expectation. You can always adjust it later. Set the blend mode into soft light, then reduce the opacity. If you want to change or adjust the smart filters or the filters, you can click the smart filter, then adjust it inside the filter gallery. Hit OK. Oh, let me adjust some things. Let me resize the size of the rectangle. Control plus T. And that's OK. Yeah. I have already created some texts before starting this video. I have used some shapes and generated a barcode using the free tools on the internet. So I think that's it.